Okay. So let's begin. Now, as far as reach for the top is uh, concerned, uh, I want to ask you something. Have you ever went to some hikes? Higher places? Hills? Mountains? Some tower? Have you climbed a tower? No. None? Who is yes? Who climbed the tower? <laughs> I heard yes. Okay. When you climb height, some people are afraid of heights. Sometimes you will feel, suppose uh, if you climb at the top of a building from there, if you look down, sometimes you will feel that you will fall immediately. Isn't it? So some people are there. But there are some people who have, uh, they have won the heights. Edmund Hillary, Tenjing Norweke. Have you heard their names? <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> yes. So they were the first to climb Mount the scale of Mount Everest. Right? Okay. Now this Santosh Yadav, she has also done the same thing. Now how she has done? Let's see. So the only woman in the world who has scaled Mount Everest twice was born in a society where the birth of a son was regarded as a blessing and a daughter, though not considered a curse, was not generally welcome. So, Santos Yadav comes from that type of society. You all are very uh, lucky that you don't come from that society. At least your parents have that much concern to send you to school. Right? At the good school, isn't it? Not into high school. So, here, Santosh Yadav comes from such a society where only birth of a son is regarded as a blessing. Birth of a uh, girl, a daughter, is not at all welcome. In some places, if it is, welcome, if it is accepted also, still they are not too happy. So that is the society where she comes from. So coming from such a society, it is not that easy to achieve what she has achieved. Maybe what she has achieved, you may feel that what it is, it is nothing. But from the background, from the society from which she comes, from that we can say that it's not that easy. Get it? She is the only woman in the world who scaled the Mount Everest twice. There are many people who are unable to climb once. Many try to climb, but they fail. Many die in this pursuit. But this, this person, Santosh Yadav, she climbed twice. And she is the only person in the world who has uh, only woman in the world who has climbed the Mount Everest two times. So that is the record. When her mother was expecting Santosh, a traveling holy man giving her his blessing, assuming that she wanted a son. So, when Santosh was yet not born, at that time, a holy man who was passing by their house, uh, while he gave his blessings, while he was going to give, give his blessings to uh, the mother of Santosh Yadav, he was giving blessing regarding son, normally. That is what happens in our society. So that is the same thing he was has, he has doing. But then what happens? Let's see. But to everyone's surprise, the unborn child's grandmother, who was standing close by, told him that they did not want a son. The holy man was also surprised. See this sentence, the holy man was surprised. Those who were over there all got surprised because the grandmother said that they don't want a son. In their society, somebody Asking such thing is a, is a out of the box. That's why they were surprised. 
even the holy man was surprised that means the holy man also expected that they will want a son blessing for a son but the grandmother said no so the holy man also got surprised so if the question comes why all were surprised or why the holy man was surprised we have to write that he was surprised because in a society of like theirs where all assume the birth of a son to be a blessing so in such a society when the grandmother of santosh yadav said that they don't want a son automatically it was obvious to get uh, surprised clear okay nevertheless he gave the request requested blessing and as destiny would have it the blessing seemed to work so however he gave the blessing that okay a girl child will be born okay though he did not want to give that blessing but he gave that blessing and as the fortune had thought it so same thing happened a girl child was born santosh was born the sixth child in a family with five sons a sister to five brothers she was born in a small village of joniya was of rewari district in haryana so rewari district of haryana there is a small village named joniya was so there she was born and she was the sixth child that means five brothers and one sister she was the youngest among the among them so the girl was given the name santosh which means contentment so why the name santosh was given that means they are satisfied they don't want anything else means they had got a girl child so that was the last thing they had wanted so they got the girl child and so now they are santushed that's why santosh name here got it so contentment means santosh from there the name came <coughs> but santosh was not always content with her place in a traditional way of life but the the family of uh, santosh they were uh, santushed with the birth of santosh santosh herself was not santushed okay the so see did not like the traditional way of life as it is there as the uh, people behave people uh whatever the people do she was something different she began living life on her own terms from the start so from the beginning she had her own way of life she did not expect uh, accepted to the social norms where other girls wore traditional indian dresses santosh preferred shorts so in their village other girls village girls normally we find they wear traditional dresses isn't it Uh, i hope you have been to village somewhere you know so in villages normally the girls wear traditional dresses but santosh she did not wear what she used to wear shorts okay she used to wear shorts that means half pants right so that she used to wear so this is one thing where she is different from the others <coughs> santosh preferred shorts looking back she says now from the very beginning i was quite determined that if i choose a correct and a rational path the others must uh, around me had to change not me and that was what her thought is this is her philosophy that if her uh, way is right then according to her people around her needs to change their mentality she would not change if she is right if she is wrong then she would change but if she is right then people around her had to change their mentality but their outlook it's not santosh who will change herself okay so santosh parents were affluent land owners who could afford to send their children to the best schools even to the country's capital new delhi which was quite close by so the parents of santosh they were affluent that means rich they were rich enough to send their children all the children to delhi for higher education or better education that much uh, means, uh, means uh, money they had that they can afford it okay 
and Delhi was not very far away from their house. But in the line with the prevailing customs in the family, Santosh had to make do with the local village school. But as for the custom is there in the family, as all have done in that family, similarly, Santosh has to go to the village school. Santosh cannot go to Delhi. Okay, Santosh has to go to the village school because he's the girl. That is the uh, social norms or traditions with the family. So she decided to fight the system in her own quiet way when the right moment arrived. So now she went to the village school, but then she decided that she will fight against the system, not by quarreling, not by crying, not by shouting, but in her own way, when the right time will come. When the right time will come, that time she will do it. The right time has yet not come. And the right moment came when she turned 16. At 16, most of the girls in her village used to get married. Santos was also under pressure from her parents to do the same. So that right moment came when? When she turned 16 years old. So at that time, during um, such age, it was a custom in their village that that is the age for marriage of the girls. This was the time when she started to protest. Okay. She was also under the pressure to get married because she is already 16. Now, the protest of Santos came out. A marriage as early as that was the last thing on her mind. So, marriage, she could not think of marriage. She never thought of marriage and that also at such an early age. She threatened her parents that she would never marry if she did not get a proper education. Now she was threatening his parents. We can understand the word used, threatened. Okay. She threatened her parents that she would only marry after getting a proper education. If she doesn't get a proper education, she will not marry. <coughs> she left uh, home and got herself enro enrolled in a school in Delhi. When her parents refused to pay for her education, she politely informed them of her plans to earn money by working part-time to pay her school fees. Her parents then agreed to pay for her education. So, that means she was strong, isn't it? Uh, she was strong mentally from inside also. She protested and she had her wish or her will. How? She went out. She went to Delhi and got admission in the school. And her parents said that, no, we will not uh, give uh, the uh, fees for your education. She, she did not say that, uh, why you will not give. Rather, she said, okay, no problem. Don't give. I will work for time and arrange for my school fees. Ultimately, the parents had to accept what she said. Now, you will say that, why the parents accepted? Right. Why the parents accepted? That shows that... This girl has tremendous mental strength that even the family members, father and mother are, were also afraid. They used to know that if this girl thinks something, she will do it. That's why ultimately they agreed to uh, carry on the expense of her education. Wishing always to study a bit more and with her father slowly getting used to her urge for more education, Santos passed the high school examination and went to jail. So, always she had a wish to study a bit more, a little more, a little more, okay, one more degree, okay, one more degree, like this. And gradually, his father also got used to it. He knew that, yes, his daughter is like that. She will ask that, she wants to study a little more and he also accepted it, he allowed it. Okay, so this was happening. So, like this, ultimately, she completed her high school, that means 12, and then she went to Jaipur. 
she joined Maharani College and got a room in Kasturba Hostel. So she joined the college that's name is Maharani College and she stayed in Kasturba Hostel. Santosh remembers Kasturba Hostel faced the Aravalli Hills. I hope you have heard about Aravalli Hills. Have you been to the, uh, Raj, Rajasthan ever? No. Okay. If you go to Rajasthan, uh, there is a place where people go to visit. That is uh, Mount Abu. Okay. Go and visit Mount Abu. Very nice place. So in the Aravalli Hills. So I used to watch villagers from my room going up the hill and suddenly vanishing after a while. So from the hostel uh, window, she used to notice that villagers climbing up the hill and then vanished. How they are vanishing? They are going to the other side of the hill. Get it? They are climbing and then moving to the other side, then vanish. Okay. One day, I decided to check it out myself. I found nobody except a few mountaineers. I asked if I could join them. To my pleasant surprise, they answered in the affirmative and motivated me to take the climbing. So one day, she herself thought that, okay, let me go and find out. Let me go and see. Just not for a, a professional thought, just for the sake. She just went to see. Curiosity, you can say. So when she went there, she found nobody. Only there were a few mountaineers. Who are mountaineers? Those are scale mountains. They are called mountains. 